Thanks, Anne. All right, welcome back. We are back from lunch. Um, one of the questions that came up right before leaving from lunch, and since we don't have our 130 appointment here yet, I just wanted to bring it up. Um, Franklin, you were going to bring together a proposal for hiring a secretary for the commission. One of the other questions I have along with the policies uh, that we talked about, the audits, the letters uh, that need to be written, is HR. Um, Michelle stated during the HR training that you were at Elaine that she wanted to have a meeting with the full commission, <clears throat> perhaps the county attorney and Mike Seistad to talk about what are the what is the responsibility of the full commission regarding personnel management, of which of course they were obligated to do by law, and how that should look in with a team of three. So um, what I'm wondering about is what do you guys want to do about addressing HR, personnel management, um, in the future? What do you mean addressing it? Doing our job. We have nine supervisors, department heads, that we are directly responsible for. Mm -hmm. We need to update their job descriptions. We need to be working with them on evaluations from our HR training that you were at. Um, and then we need to be addressing those things that uh, need coaching, uh, that kind of thing. Basic personnel management. Hiring and firing. Mm -hmm. that's, that's a piece of it as well, yeah. So. Are they going to come and talk to us? No. Um, if we want to schedule something, we'll have to do it, uh, you know, with everybody around their schedules, and then probably go to Mako and have a discussion there. Or even over the phone, we could. <clears throat> yeah, we could. Um, the suggestion was that we do it in person so that uh, you can read body language, um, read sense. those questions that are not being asked that are out there. That kind of thing. Yeah. I see. Let's set up a meeting and go. Okay, so this commission is interested in working on personnel management together as a team. I don't think so. we have any choice. We don't, unless, you know, Franklin's proposal for a secretary includes HR. I don't think well, we can. We didn't talk about HR. No. no, that's what I'm asking now. So we'll start with a meeting with Michelle then, with the understanding that the commission will do that part of our job. Yeah. Okay. All right, I will uh, follow up with her. And um, I saw some people come in. Martin, good afternoon, gentlemen. So, 1.30, we have Sean Bryant, BOR, Dana Rouser Road. Is Dana here? Not yet. We'll be in just a minute. Okay. So, um, you know what? I'll have you guys come up and then we'll just wait for Dana. How's that? With some preliminary. Um, so, Sean Higley, County Engineer, Goose Bay Road Maintenance, Funding Decision. Come on up. I'm not going to have time now. Hi there, Sean. You want me up there too? Yes. So, uh, okay. this is Jeff Bomberger. Jeff Bomberger. Bomberger. At Kevin's Ferry Mill. Spell that, please. B A U M B E R G E R. Just like it sounds, huh? Have you been working on Goose Bay for a while? Were you here for a previous meeting? Mm -hmm. That's why you look familiar. Yep. Nice to see yep. you again. I'm Laura Obert. Hello. Jeff's from the Billings office, Montana area office in Billings. Fantastic. His real job is the resource management division manager. Wonderful. We just fell in for a while. Uh, we can very till we our new manager shows up. So how's the project coming? I'll let Sean answer that one. He's more in tune with who goes down there from time to time. But I, I, you know, from what I've heard, it's going well. Yeah. Before we get an update, do you know Sean Higley, our county engineer? No. This is Jeff. Jeff, this is Sean. This is our road supervisor, Dana. Nice to meet you. Hi, Jeff. Nice to meet you. This is uh, Elaine Gravely and Frank Mislifka. All right. So how about we start with an update? How is Goose Bay coming along? We haven't done anything, Dana, but just say hi. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. It's moving along. Uh, the, the, uh, <clears throat> the contractor plans on working uh, 
as long as the weather allows. So uh, we're making a lot of progress down there. Who is the contractor on the project? The Helena Sand and Gravel is okay. the, I guess the perfect that. contractor. So, uh, so they're local, so to speak. So they're able to keep in, in touch with the weather and everything. So. So uh, they haven't talked about any winter shutdown at this point, so um, progress continues down there, and we're still planning on having it done on schedule. Um, There's a lot of big trucks going by my house hauling cement pipe. What is that for? Those are the um, the culverts that go underneath. The, the, that's all the drainage system. There's several <coughs> um, detention ponds and, and the, uh, site drainage. I believe all that concrete pipe is for the, that's the site drainage components. So the main reason that we asked you guys to come is, is of course to get an update, which is good to know, you know, what's going on. But the big issue is the road. Um, Dana will grade that road like all the other county roads, the same number, you know, based on where it's at as far as the priority with mail and, and school bus. But the traffic requires so much more, and we simply don't have the resources. So with what you guys are doing, which will be an economic shot in the arm for the community, is there some way we can partner and either address um, you know, paving the road or increase maintenance, partner assistance with funding, more maintenance, that kind of thing. So that's what we really need to address and talk about. And, and let me ask you, are you talking specifically during construction because there are some trucks in there or are you talking about the We're talking both. I think there's two different issues we need to address. One is during construction because it's a different monster and then the other one is the recreation traffic, boats, A-types, that kind of thing. Sean and, and Dana, do you guys have anything to offer or to add to that? Well, I just noticed since, since there wasn't a lot of traffic here this summer, you know, there, were, there was traffic, but it wasn't like it had been in the past years. That road actually was better this summer than it has been in the past because of less traffic. And, and I'm talking less, less recreation traffic. I mean, we were out there once in the spring, and I think we went out there once this, once this summer, and then we went back, you know, just this fall. But Is that your normal but three times a year? Well, um, normally no. <laughs> just twice? Well, normally it's it's more than that, and the reason is that washboard. I mean, the road washboard is so easy. You know, I mean, through the summer it, you got so much boat traffic and, and camper traffic, and, and uh, you know, and it, it appears to me that that being being the people were out of there. You know, I mean, they they pour all the stuff out of you did or whoever did, but. Uh, those people weren't going back every weekend. Right. You know, it was a different people, but it wasn't quite as much traffic, I don't think. I mean, I don't know. You guys got a traffic counter out there, and I don't know. I haven't seen any data on that, but, you know, for the summer. <coughs> yeah, you know, I haven't looked at it. I mean, we, yeah, we have a traffic counter out there. So yeah. I don't know how. I'm, I'm sure it was less. Well, well I know it was, yeah. It was less. But. I mean, our campground is still open, so it's been important to it, so yeah. there's yeah. still some use. Well, there was. There was. It, it, I, I just didn't see the, the road deterioration of it is what I usually see. So, you know, it, that tells me that, that less traffic, better road conditions, so. And that's to be expected, I think. No question. Yeah. Um, I don't think what the commission is necessarily asking for is to pave the road without um, any other considerations. I think one of the things we've looked at in the past is a, like a Western Lands Action Program grant and applying for that and trying to partner with you guys on, on something like that. Either a you know, rehabilitation type grant or an actual reconstruction type grant. Um, they have the maintenance grant which is you know, basically putting more gravel on the road, uh, drainage improvements, those kind of things. And then they have the actual reconstruction grant, which, you know, could go towards paving. We could actually do it in two stages, you know, as far as maintenance, add gravel, get the road in good shape, 
and then come in and pave it with a follow-up grant or just try to buy it off online. What's the conditions of this grant? It's just, uh, you know, it's it's competitive like like others, but I think, uh, you know, with with the use, it's all it's all geared towards recreational use um, for federal facilities. And, uh, you know, we've talked to them at length uh, as far as the program itself and explain the project, I, I think they believe it's a, it's a very credible project with a, with a good chance. So, I, I'm, I'm not knowledgeable on this, so forgive me for asking questions, but so what would, if it's, a, is it a federal grant? It is. Yep. And then, so what would you need, what would you expect or what are you thinking about from reclamation? Sure. And I guess, you know, at this point, we want you guys just to kind of be open to it, come to the table a little bit, um, and see if we couldn't work some sort of a, you know, a match agreement or something to, to make something work. I mean, you know, Dana and his crew's got a lot of the equipment to make a lot of that happen. Um, and, uh, but there would be, you know, obviously some, some cash or materials components that would need to go with that, for sure. And I don't know... You know, from your perspective, what, what budgeting and other things, you know, you guys have, but it's a discussion, I guess, we'd, we'd like to have with you and, uh, you know, see, see where that could go, possibly. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess I'd have to revisit the grant. I did uh, uh, read a lot of that stuff this last go-round yeah. when, the, when the, uh, the grant thing was happening, but, but um, I can't remember the whole... Um, what the the details were about the matching, uh, the matching funding part of it, because it is a obviously a grant program, so you're asking for money that's available from the grant. So, yeah, and it's like seventy. Uh, I think it's like a seventy-five, twenty-five in that range. You know, if you're if you're awarded, you get you know approximately seventy-five percent, and you've got to match that. But obviously, to pave a road of that size. Um, it's, it's considerable. I mean, we'd be talking about you know, roughly 300,000 per mile, roughly, to pay that thing. That'd be a pretty I, conservative I, estimate, probably, but... Yeah, I, I guess. I, I don't know. I haven't just been to that part of it. But yeah. yeah, I mean, we were, I mean when, I was, when I was working for the Park Service, when we were going to pave a road up from gravel up, we always figured like a million dollars a mile. Yeah. And our full reconstruct, that's that's absolutely true. Yeah. I think with what so I don't know if we're there yet as far as, I mean as far as the needing that kind of a, mm -hmm. a reconstruction of that really right. Not, but anyway, like you say, it's substantial. Yeah. You know, the other the other part of that would be you know that, that's one option would be that rehab, but the the other part of it is is maintenance and uh, you know putting some more gravel on the road. And, maybe contributing towards the maintenance of the road on an ongoing basis. The, one of the issues we have is a crew of four for all of Broadwater County. As a particular road like Goose Bay uh, needs so much more maintenance, how do we stretch four guys and three graders to be able to cover Goose Bay as often as it would be needed to? So another option, just to throw it out on the table and, you know, for us all to throw darts at is, would you be willing to uh, put some money in to make chloride? That would free up uh, the crew from having to be there as often, um, which would help keep the road for a longer period of time. And we have a, a history of doing that with other companies, right, Dana? Well, yeah. Uh, line plant, for instance, they pay, you know, they, they give me my chloride to, to do that in line plant road. Um, so their trucks, they go up and down the road 95% of the time. So they, I mean, they pay for the whole shooting match. We go in, blade it, take care of it, and they, they pay for all the chloride. Three, four times a year. So now you're not, as, you're not asking for the med chloride related to the grant thing then because you guys have asked for us to do that before and we've responded that we we can't do that and I can let Jeff elaborate on that if you, if you want. 
Right. I don't recall that you couldn't, but that you thought we should instead. The last letter we got said that you guys should use your PILT funds to pay for this. And of course, PILT funds are not necessarily for road maintenance. Um, but yeah, if, if there's a reason you can't, let's, let's put that out on the table again for the darts and then throw out a, another <coughs> idea to, you know, toss around. Um, we're, we're open to ideas from you guys as well today. And I don't know if we have any great ideas. I mean, we've talked about this. Now, unfortunately, we don't have the authority to expend reclamation funds on areas that aren't on reclamation land. Now, this is an interesting situation because it leads into reclamation land, a, a, a popular recreation site. So how do we get past that? And I, I don't know the answer to that. You know, just to, to cut a check, you know, if you will, you know, the county to, to do road maintenance. We, we don't have the authority to do that. Um, so maybe that's an option that we can look at. I think, you know, I don't think anybody sitting here or anybody from Reclamation would say that our recreation, the, 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 the recreationalists that utilize our facilities don't have an impact on that road. You know, that, that'd be foolish to say that that they don't. Um, but, you know, again, unfortunately, we don't have the authority to just expend those funds. So what's, what's our other options? I don't know. I, I don't know at this point. Um, you know, what have you done other places? What's that? What have you done other places? Like where? Tiber Reservoir. Tiber, the county does blade our roads at, at Tiber but they're stuff that's within the exterior boundaries or the, the federal boundaries, if you will. Like the, the stuff that's outside of that, uh, I don't know how familiar you are with Tiber, but if, if it, you know, from up, from the marina up at Tiber, if it goes out as it, as it goes to the north there, um, the county blades that, where it is an actual county road. But when it, when it comes in and hits our boundary from there in, the county does blade it for us, um, but that's, again, that's on our land. So. Okay, what about, now I, I, and I, may, I could be totally off base on this, but I've talked to, uh, I can't remember his name, he used to be a supervisor up there, Sean, um, something or other. No, and Tiber? Yeah. Sam? No, his, name's, his name was Sean. Uh, you mean for the county? For the county. Oh, oh. For the county. I was thinking, no. He told me that you guys, Paid for lignite sulfate to do that whole road into the marina. You bet. Well, I and he told me that. Now, I, I don't know if he did or if he did or not. But if that's the case, I, I, got, I guess I got a little problem uh, with asking for what we're asking. Now, is this? I don't know. Liberty I, County. You, you, yeah, I know. You threw out a different. Chemical there. Is that well, it's lignite sulfate. It's, same it's thing. almost the same okay. as lignite chloride, except yeah. it's more expensive. Okay. Does it? It's, see, I don't remember. Uh, I've been in the office more than 10 years, and I don't ever remember that happening. Mm -hmm. um, but I can check into it. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll look into it and see um, and I can what was done, to what wasn't done, how, how that was. If it was done, how did we do that? Sure. Yeah. I, I wish we had a, you know, I, I wish we had a silver bullet for this, so, you know, we'll do this and, and done. Um, because I don't think, you know, that it's, this isn't, these aren't fun discussions for anybody. <laughs> I think we want to get, but I think we all want to get to the same, same thing at the end of the day, but we all have to go within our own authority. So I'll, I'll check into it and see if there was some way to get that done. I don't know. Um, you know, I, the way the, the federal government uh, with funding is now, I doubt this is going to happen, but years ago, um, they actually paved that road from Highway 2 into uh, Fresno. And, and I don't know the, the details on that. I think the good Senator Bacchus was, was a party to that, and Walleyes Unlimited, and, and others got some earmark funding for that, but I know earmarks in Congress is pretty few and far between these days, so I don't know if that's going to happen, but it, I, I, I think we should look at some options or try to look at some options. I think that's what I'm saying is, is just this 
No, sorry, never mind. <laughs> Laura, as you're saying, it's just the list. You know, the market shut the door, just look at all options. And I think we're willing to do that. I mean, we're willing to look at options, but we still have to, you know, yeah. operate within our own guidelines. Well, I think this the grant thing is, is definitely worth pursuing. I mean, I, like I said, I can't remember what the what the details were. I, I don't know um, about the matching part of it. If you're, can you get the part of the matching funds that you're supposed to provide from an uh, from another federal agency to then um, to make up that the matching portion of it. Even I'd, have to, I'd have to revisit money. that again. I don't think there were restrictions on it. Yeah, I, I, some of those I definitely have them. Yeah, because I can't remember. Those, yeah, like you say, some of them have uh, restrictions on where that matching money can come from. Right. So, but, yeah, to me, that's the, the uh, and I, I don't know, you know, I don't know which is more appropriate, the, the, uh, the maintenance grant or just trying to pay it in. I mean, I guess from my viewpoint, it'd be, you know, go for the gold. <laughs> well, <laughs> well but, you know, uh, everybody, yeah, the, yeah but, the, the paving would be great. I think it's, it's, it's really going to be coming up with a solid funding package for it. Yeah. I mean, that's really what it's going to take. And if we don't have that, we won't get the grant. I mean, it'll be that simple. So yeah. that's something we definitely have to figure out and and make sure we've got something in place to do that. Whereas the maintenance grant's pretty, a lot more simple. I mean, I, I definitely think there's ways we can make that work, but it doesn't solve the long-term problem. Yeah, and that's what I'm thinking is, um, um, is the maintenance grant, do you have to, I mean, there, it's a one-year kind of thing. Yeah, and so then you they have do that to, one every year. You'd have to continually um, uh, apply, apply for that. And, um, and, Come up with matching funds yeah. from every you know every year, I guess basically. I think that'd be any, a tough sell for that. I mean, I know it's a, uh, I mean it's you know the, the paving's a lot more money, but I mean it might be a more viable right. proposal. <coughs> it seems like. And I don't know how we're you know like I said I without knowing the, the matching uh, how the matching thing. Works. I think we all have to do some some research on that and see. But, but I, I mean, I don't. I, mean, I remember you guys were working on that grant. I thought. Um, yeah, it was just uh, you know it was kind of a late late start. Mm -hmm. I got a question. <coughs> I was told by a contractor that money is a lot of a lot of for that project down there, that Goose Bay project, and there's a considerable chunk of money yet that isn't used. Why can't that be put into this paving project? Mm, I don't know. I, I don't know what under what. Uh, well, you said a contractor told you. I don't know what under what circumstances this where this contractor is getting his information. Well, I don't know if he bid on it or. Oh. But he had some information. And I didn't get a chance to visit with him anymore. But yeah. supposing that. Well, there there is a big chunk of money that was allotted on this, and it oh. isn't being used in that campground. I think that should be put on this road. Well, and and as you know, Commissioner, it is a big pot of money. We're putting, you know, substantial federal investment of about well, the contract was for six point nine million. Yeah, I know. And it's likely going to go up because of um, contract amendments that we need to, you know, with any contract, there's always mm -hmm. some modifications that need to occur. And I don't know if this is the money that this individual is talking about or not. Um, but yeah, there is a, you know the contract was for six point nine million, mm -hmm. um, and if that's if that is the pot of money that that individual is talking about, that's allocated for well, for, yeah, that for the modification for that six point nine or yeah. whatever that is. But this amount is considerably over that. There's probably hmm. another couple million. Hmm. What I understand. You know, it's hard to it's hard to comment on that because we don't know the specifics on it. Um, but it still it comes back to the, our authority question of just you know, using, unless we got you know, direct um, authorization from Congress that says, you know, you can expend money on this, then... Well, apparently you already have it. If, that, if that's for sure, if that amount was allotted for this, it's already been allotted, it's there. 
instead of letting it slip away, I think it should be you on this road project. Well, for the campground or for the marina? Yeah, it's I mean, well, that part, yeah. But the rest of two different things. Yeah, yeah. see, I'm, I'm not familiar <laughs> with what, I guess, the, the money that this individual is talking about. I mean, even if it was there, like Jeff's saying, that's not, you know, that's a county road. We, we don't have authority. You know, but, uh, Having money set aside to do to redo a campground or a marina doesn't translate onto paving a county road. It's a whole different well, deal. Well, all the usage is coming because of that campground. We have one residence that's down below yeah, that first mile. But from a funding standpoint, it's a whole different thing. <laughs> well, I know there's a lot of red tape to go through, but this would be one place to start. It's my understanding the county owns the first mile. It's all. And the rest is yours. Yeah, I don't know. I Yeah, the rest of it's all on actually be on our ground. Well, that changes things a little bit. <laughs> I, I, I would, well, I was under the impression that it was way down there. Our, our property line is down That's there. what I've always been told. I'd have to look in there. It still isn't, yeah, the mile. But mile's different. I mean, one mile's different than, what, three? To get in there. What is the total? Four miles to the No. Three. It's a little, yeah, about three. Yeah. Not maybe a little over three miles. Might be close. Might be a little, 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 little less, possibly. Well, I think that's one. That's, that's the first thing we need to figure out is, is where you know that delineation is because that that may make a difference on how we proceed on some of this. Yeah. And Franklin, if you could maybe get some facts on that money to bring to these guys to bring out so that we all have that to work with too. Um, that way you guys will know what it is that he's talking yeah. about and can address they, they it. They find out a lot easier than me. If I start asking <laughs> the bureau, they're not going to tell me anything. You guys are in there. Well, you know, uh, I, don't, I, I wouldn't even know where to, you know, I can go to our budget people and say, hey, hey is there some money out there? But, we need, I mean, we need specifics. I don't know, again, I don't know where this individual is talking about this extra money. We don't usually have a lot of extra money sitting around. Yeah. Just, you know, we, we get budgeted every year, and, um, and we typically have, you know, plans for those money. So I don't know where this, what, again, what this individual is talking about, the extra money. So if we can get some more specifics on that, I'd be happy to look into it. Might, might be as simple as maybe the original budgeted amount versus your contract amount and then yeah you know how creative can you guys be in 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 the scope yeah. i mean that's that's really what i think what it boils down to or it could be you know recreation or recreation budget for example i mean you know some people see our recreation budget and say oh yeah well it's extra money well we don't i mean the recreation budget's used for specific things and specific items um, but it only stands to reason if they can spend almost seven million on that. You think they would have enough money to take care of the road? I mean, seven million is an awful lot to put in the campground. <laughs> so whatever it is, yeah. But they sure have to come up with the money to, for people to get into it. We can just ban on the road. And you know the other part of that is the protection of your investment too. You are spending seven million down there, and paving that road would definitely go a long ways towards use and and protection of that investment. Right. The yeah. fancy campground doesn't do any good if the road is lousy. We can't imagine the complaints we've had. I agree with you to a certain degree, but I still think they'll go there. Even if even if it was a mud pit, I still think they'll go there. I think so. You know, you're right. <laughs> but they complain loud. Oh yeah, right and, here. And, and unfortunately, the three of you get to hear it. Yeah. We have partnerships already in this county. Mm -hmm. This is just really a request to have one more, and um, if hopefully for you guys to hear what our side is on this issue, and for us to understand what your limitations are as well as what opportunities there there are that you guys may know of that we don't. Um, you know, this grant, there's in two steps. One is potentially two steps. One is to 
kind of build the base of the road, and then the next one is to potentially pave it. Um, you know, maybe maybe that is something we can look at and, and open a partnership there, um, and and have a true partnership, not one that says we like working with you, County, go ahead and take care of it. Um, and I don't think that's what you guys want either, because it doesn't suit or serve either either side or the citizens. Yeah. Um, so that's can, really what this is all about. Yeah, if we can work within our authorities, I think we're all we're more than happy to do it. So, yeah. I think we're trying to do it in phases. I think get on and, and, and get it done. I mean, while they're spending that money, and that's the big issue there, and everything. Now's the time to, to get to get it done. Um, let me shift gears a little bit, talking about partnerships. Uh, I know Reclamation in the past has has brought it up to the commission. Um, about potentially partnering on the marina itself and the county running the marina. Um, has the commission given, given that any more thought? Does that hold any water at all, uh, that idea? We're not in the recreation business. I don't think we should have anything to do with it. That's my idea. And I mean, that's, uh, that's completely separate. Um, as far as, as you know, a proposal we, we just had conversations sure. with you guys um, I think you know if you had a proposal certainly bring it forward but from from where I'm sitting right now is if there isn't something done with the road I don't want to touch it if if it's true that people will come because it's built great um, but I'd have some reservations at putting the county out there or a concessionaire that's working through the county like we have at silos if there isn't some way to address that road to ensure that we're giving somebody or the county every opportunity to succeed. Point okay. taken. Good point. Do you have a thought, Elaine, on, on that no, subject? No, I agree. Um, I'm going to switch gears for just a minute. We've had complaints from people that live in that area about the jake brakes on those big trucks. As an owner of a truck company, I understand the jake brakes very well, but is there any way, I mean, I know when they come in and they put them in, it rattles the house. Okay, um, we will look into that. Uh, I'll talk to our contracting officer, find out if there's any restrictions that we can put on them, um, go in and out of there. Yeah, we'll, we'll look into it. That would be appreciated. And somebody will get back to you. Okay, great. Okay. Can't the county on our part of the road there put a speed limit or whatever we want on that part, can't we? Sure uh, can. We can. <laughs> so that's well, what I mean. That's <laughs> the thing. <laughs> we have a process for that. Yeah, we absolutely can and we have. Are they hauling rock in and out there too? Or out in there? I honestly don't know what they're hauling in and out of there, but I know they're going to process a lot of the material on site. Yeah. They're, they're going to, they, they are going to mine some of the material uh, on site and crush a lot of stuff on site. Now, I don't, I'm not that involved in the contract, so I don't know if they have enough material. Right? But my knowledge has just been machinery so far. I can tell you that they've been going by my house with big trucks loaded with big rock. Oh, yeah, that's those side dumps in. Mm -hmm. I thought they might be that canyon. Is that for the bags or is that for? Uh, I have no idea. Are they rip wrapping out there now or something? No, they should the dikes. Or, or, yeah, the dikes or out there to, yeah. if they're going by on 284. There, just wonder where they're going. Yeah, I'm not sure that those are going to Goose Bay because I can't think of anything that they'd be doing now that would be because they, you know, like Jeff says, they, you know, they set up a, they've got a crusher set up out there now yeah. and they're actually going to be. Uh, uh, mining material on site, to, you know, crushing material yeah, yeah. there. But uh, there is some root bath that goes in that, uh, around those, uh, the culvert um, inlets and outlets for those detention ponds, but they're not even, they don't even have those ponds dug out yet, so I wouldn't yeah. well, I know think I that they're hauling it out there yet. I mean, maybe they are just in that there. I don't know. Well, and I have a quality to know. So, it's just my assumption. Because I saw those trucks the other day too when they were coming down here and I was wondering where they were going. And they're all hell in a sand truck too. Well, maybe, maybe they are. Maybe they're stuck. Right? When they do get 
So we have a couple things to get back to. We got to look into this Liberty County thing. Look into or provide the commission a proposal, which may or may not include a road or a road component to it. Um, there's a third thing. The ownership of the road. Yeah. There you go. And um, Sean, if you could look into match opportunities for the Western um, Lands Access Grant, um, that would help too. And then if we could come together in mid, uh, early January, while things are still slow, does that work for everybody? Yeah, is that too soon? No, I, I don't know. I don't know if we have yeah. or get enough information to, to discuss. Okay. Our, our new manager will be on boots on the ground hopefully in January too. So okay, mm -hmm. excellent. Maybe, that I mean, would be a good opportunity just to meet him too. Yeah. Will you be going back to Billings office then, or are you going to stay on? No, I'm I, at the end of this week. I'm done. I'm can't carry, so I'll be going back. I, I have you know. Uh, quite a bit of dealings with Sean and, and others that they came up here, but mm -hmm. I will be stationed, go back to Billings if you like that. Just up here temporarily, enjoying the nice scenery. Anything else you need from us to try and make this happen? Is there anything we can do to um, add to our argument for BOR? Yeah, I can't think of anything. I think that there's obviously some a couple of things that are pivotal in this to get straightened out here. You know, obviously, the ownership thing is the biggest thing. You know, make sure that the, uh, we, we have that starting point there. <laughs> Dana and Sean, anything more you guys need? I don't think so. Okay. All right. Um, once we get you know information back from these guys, we'll meet again. You know, I'll have more information on on the on the two different types of grants and what that match be and what the cost might be, so at least you guys can see what that information looks like, and then maybe we can make a plan. And Sean, you seem like you're the most knowledgeable one at this table regarding that grant. What time, when's the deadline on those? I believe it's um, end of January or end of February. So soon? It's coming up, yes. Mm -hmm. So maybe we do need a new January. I think January would be critical. Okay. Yeah, because I think last year, if I remember. It's about this right, time, was, yeah. You know, was, you know, the end of January is what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. How about aim for the second Monday in January? That, is that too late? Is that too soon? Well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that give you enough time, Sean, to put something together potentially? I think, I think the fifth would be better primarily because um, they're not going to see some of that information and it takes some time, I believe, for them to go through the right processes. Um, I think what would be helpful though is I can get those costs together and get that to you ahead of that meeting on the 5th. Then you'd be a little more prepared to talk about some of your options, if that makes sense. Yeah. So, so get us the information on the 5th and then... Well, well ahead of the 5th. I'd like oh. to get it to you here over the next couple of weeks and then you'd have a couple of weeks to digest, you know, and talk it over with okay. you got, you know, I guess your group internally and see what options would be available yeah, to participate. A lot of folks in the federal government are either gone at the end of the yeah. end of December. Yeah. Um, I just say that because it's just it, that's a fact. You know, yeah. And like the last two weeks, a lot of folks are trying to use their relief, and so I don't know if it, if it's going to work. I mean, we can sure try. Is your new director now? Does he have any knowledge of what's taking place here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, and he said he got a request or somebody from the commission, uh, uh, maybe one of your schedulers or something, did contact him, and, and uh, but he knew he, he knew 
child, you know, well first in this, and then you know, I think they have here and a couple other things going on. So, are you talking there. about the new facility manager? Yeah. Can you oh, yeah. I thought you were talking about our new area manager, and I still consider him new. He's been there a couple of years now. <laughs> uh, that's one. I'm sorry. That's oh, okay. one. No, the, the new facility manager that's that's gonna have boots on the ground on January fifth. He's we he doesn't know anything. So in regards to this, so it'd be better if it was a little later actually, so you can kind of get. I guess you'll be in the and what's going on so far. Yeah, I mean, I did, I think for the sake of, especially if we were going to try to go for this grant, that sooner, like you say, if we can do it the sooner, the twelfth, the the, then I can get you the information ahead of time. Mm -hmm. You just, I mean, we're going to have to be able to go. Yeah, I and mean, that's the yes. thing. On the twelfth, we're going to have to come to a decision, either yes or no. Yeah, maybe the fifth is work. If it, if it works for Sean, I, I I kind of agree with you. The fifth may work better and. and just gives us another local if you can get down here. I mean, that, that'd be the best. Another week to kind of sort yeah. details out face to face, and I think that's always better. Yeah. We're saying for the fifth, and if there's a rock in the road, somehow we move to the seventh. We meet on Wednesdays as well, or the twelfth. How's that? Okay. All right. Yeah, I think that's, that'd be better because it gives us a little bit more time. Yeah. And does this time work? One thirty. Is this a good time? Yeah. All right. Okay. We will schedule it January 5th and at 1.30 for a follow-up and sure. hopefully see what road we're on. Pardon mm -hmm. the pun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's my <Such> pun. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anything else? No, I can't think of anything. All right. Um, so any of the questions that are still looming from this discussion, hopefully everyone can bring their answers on the 5th or sooner. Yeah. And, um, yeah. And you'll talk to somebody about those gate breaks. Please. I will. I will. Yeah. Have you got any comments, except from the people that live in the first mile there and stuff, other than through the process? Through the entire process, yeah. the public meeting? Yeah, we get quite a few comments, good and bad. Well, they're all good. Comments are all good. Some are a little bit more pointed than others. I can imagine. <laughs> Some are better than others. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Anything else from the board? No. Nope. So. All right. Any questions? All right. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Sean. Yeah. Attorney lawsuit filed by Sheriff Ludwig, Ludwig against Broadwater County to oppose county departmental budget process discussion and decision. So we will have Carla here for just a minute. Yep. I 
Okay, it looks like our county attorney is ill today. As of six minutes to one, she left an email or a voicemail text that said, I left you a voicemail on your cell. Of course, we can't get during our meeting. I need to continue our items to the 22nd as I'm just too sick to come over today. Sorry. So we will table the uh, two o'clock today until the 22nd. That is a full day, but we can keep it at the same time, 2 o'clock. Um, so, I, I don't see any other options. Do you guys? I don't think there's any choice. All right. So, we'll go ahead and table that until next week. So, with that, is there anything else for the good of the order? All right. I don't do so. Anything from the board? Okay. Nothing? Madam Chairman? Yes. Can I respectfully request that the uh, board remove from the agenda the personal claims from Brenda Ludwig? I have never submitted a personal claim to the board. Um, we can certainly. Exactly. Yeah. There's one in, this, in the. I have never personally submitted any bill to the Board of County Commissioners. That is from the Sheriff of Broadwater County. No, it has your name on it. Let me look you real quick. Am I mis speaking? No, no, I don't I don't believe you are. I think that's um, what we can do is uh, discuss it uh, with legal counsel. And then uh, we'll have another agenda coming out today. And depending on what is decided through that course, we can certainly address that. It hides when I'm really looking for it. I pay my own bills out of my own personal check that came from the Broadwater County Sheriff. And it's under the description of what it was for. So. Oh, thank you. I should explain the lamp for anybody who wasn't here earlier. Uh, and the slippers, they are part of a fundraising campaign for the needy families of Broadwater County, sponsored by Rotary. So each one is giving $100 to needy families for Christmas adoption. So just to let you know, I should have made that comment for our gentlemen that we're not here also this morning. You don't wear slippers like that all the time? I don't, but I'm kind of thinking I should. My feet are toasty. I'll bet they are. <laughs>
don't know that this one is personal. It does say Brenda Ludwig, but it's for the uh, detention center for inmate food and refrigerator. So I don't think this one would qualify. Um, I no, think that, that, that isn't what you're referring to. It says attorney's fees on the agenda. Right, right. Uh, there is a line on the on the agenda that says sheriff's request for county to pay personal attorney fees. Um, there's a question as to whether those are personal or not. So um, that's one of the things that we'll have to talk about with legal as far as changing the wording, um, because we do have a requirement to be honest with the citizens of the county. Um, so we'll see um, what legal says on that and um, move forward as best we can. So anything else then for the good of the order? Anything else? All right, this meeting is adjourned. Thanks everyone for coming. It is 2.23.